Hi everyone, my name is Amy Pelaez and I'm going to be um, presenting what is ABA Exam Academy. In my meeting for today, my agenda is we're going to be going over in the beginning, we're going to be talking about um, meeting the leaders, um, taking a look at our reviews. Um, we're going to also talk about the way to join our free live weekly meetings, how to communicate with us through our social media platforms. Um, and then after that, we're gonna be going over some information to access tutoring sessions, which includes um, the BCBA, BCABA, RBT, and testing strategies meetings. Um, after that, we will look at the new mock exam data sheet that we have for sale. And then finally, we have the um, samples of the tutoring session set, uh, mock questions that we have in the actual tutoring sessions. And at the end, as always, um, if you guys have any questions, we can go over that um, and then it will be the end. Okay, so like I said, my name is Damien Pelaez. I am the one that created ABA Exam Academy on, in January of 2019. So we are actually very close to our anniversary. Yay. <laughs> and then here is also Yanni Spell Hernandez, which is a newly certified BCABA. Congratulations. She Hi, is here with us right now. Um, say hello, Yanni. Hi guys, nice to meet you. Okay, she is the one that conducts the BCBA, BCABA tutoring sessions, and I am the one that conducts the RBT tutoring sessions. All right, with that said, since we've been almost a year um, having our study sessions, tutoring sessions and all that, uh, we have had over 11 reviews. Um, some have not put them on the actual review section, but if you go to our Facebook page, you'll see them on the um, information section as well. But like you see, everyone has 100% reviewed, which, which is amazing. I am very happy um, for everything that we have gone through. We've made great relationships and I'm very proud of everything. And I wanna really thank Yenny for helping out and for ma making this super amazing with me. She's a great partner, I can't ask for more. Thank you, that's sweet. <laughs> All right, so, um, finally, we're going to get to what it is, what it actually is. Okay, so first of all, like we're having right now, we have our weekly meetings. So to, to actually access the weekly meetings, you have to go to where it shows up here. You go to our website, which is on the bottom, www.abaexamacademy.com, and then you go to the home tab, and then there, when you scroll down, you will see the name of the meeting being provided with the presenter's name. So today is, today's meeting is by me, and then tomorrow's meeting is by Yanis Bell Hernandez. And then to the right-hand side, you will see the times. To the left-hand side, you will see the dates, the actual dates, and it's all in Eastern Standard Time, okay? All of these meetings that are on the homepage are absolutely free. Um, the only thing you do have to do is download the Zoom app, which is on the left-hand screen right now. Um, you can do it via your mobile device or you can do it on a computer. It is absolutely free. You just go to zoom.us and download the application, like I said, on their mobile device or on the actual computer. And oh, and then finally, you also click on the link under the, um, the name of the meeting, which is right here. Okay. All right. So after that, another thing that we have that is also free is our all of our social media platforms so these are just the top three that we have we also have spotify that's brand new which is um on the go an on the go podcast uh i have a couple more but the more popular podcast is spotify it's the one that people use the most um and then we have other um uh platforms as well like twitter and things but these are the top three and spotify also and that is also, of course, absolutely free. We do communicate a lot through there. Um, if you guys have any questions or if you wanna go over things, we can do that as well. 
All right, so on the website, like I talked about before, um, are all of our services, which includes all of the tutoring sessions and the data sheets. Um, so you will go to the website, the homepage, and then you'll find where it says services. You will click here where it says services. And then after all of the tutoring sessions, once they're conducted, you do receive um, a PDF format uh, file through an email of your actual presentation. So that does, it is included with everything. With all of the tutoring sessions, they are included with a PDF format of everything you went through. All right, so with that said, we do use ABA to study ABA. That is our approach. Uh, we figured out that obviously that's the best method. Um, so we want to use it to ace the test as well. All right, our most popular um, tutoring session is called testing strategies tutoring because as you guys all know, the exam is not just all about concepts, it's also about testing strategies. You have to know a little bit of both to pass the actual exam. If all you know is concepts and you don't know, and you don't know how to master those skills that you need to um, pass the actual test and go through the desensitization that you need to go through that environment that's very difficult, then you won't pass it. So you need a little bit of both, okay? And this is, we always um, recommend to have one of each, but this is, as of right now, it is our most popular. You're getting an hour and a half of time, plus you're also getting the data sheet included in this package, okay? All right, the next one we have um, is the BCABA, uh, BCBA, BCABA tutoring. This is only one hour. And this one is only for concepts. So this, this includes, we recommend six concepts, but you can do a maximum of eight. The reason we say six is because we would rather take more time on those concepts that you have most difficulty for that one hour. Um, but if you feel that you know most of the stuff and you just want to review, we can do up to eight. Okay. As um, the same way we have the BCBA, BCABA tutoring, which is one-to-one, -one, we also have a group tutoring. So in this one, what you have to do is you have to get a maximum of three people. So that's including the one person that's booking it and two more. So you get a group of three and then you have the same exact session. So you have to come up with those concepts that you, the three of you are struggling with and then give them the link that Yenny's Bell would send to you and then go to the meeting at the same time that you guys all agree to. But this is something that you all have to do, come up with that group, okay? All right. Does anybody have any questions before I move on? Because I know that the BCABA, BCBA part is what everyone wants to know about more. Or are we good? I just wanted to, uh, I don't know if you're going to add it later, but I wanted to, to mention that in there, uh, we go over the concepts and we also use visuals and charts and things like that to explain it with examples. And uh, uh, we also go do mock questions to make sure they understand the concepts in a test, not just understanding the concept by itself. Right. Absolutely. Thank you, Yenny. All right, so we're gonna then move on to RBT tutoring, the same as the BCABA and BCBA. Um, I do, I'm the one that conducts the RBT tutoring. I go over the, the fifth edition task list, um, not the fifth edition task list, the second edition task list of the, of the RBT. And I break um, all of the, the whole entire thing down. Um, with this, I just like to review it as quick as I can and then we can have another session to master whatever it is that you don't know well. But um, since the task list for the RBT is so small, then I would just rather review everything so that we can make sure that you pass. Okay, and then we also have the small group as well. But the same way that Yenny was talking about, we, we put visuals, we put um, mock questions, we put Whatever it takes to make you master that. We make charts for you guys. We do whatever it takes to, for, to help you guys master those skills needed so that you can do both of those areas 
of testing strategies and concepts. All right, and then um, once you click on the actual um, website to book, you saw where it said book, let me go back. Okay, here, once you click here on book, on any of the tutoring sessions, this is what's gonna come out. Okay, this is the calendar. These are the times we have available. Um, this one is actually just for BCBA, BCABA. I pulled it out so that you guys can see what it looks like. Um, but with RBT and BCBA, they're different. So you would have to go to the actual tutoring session that you want. Um, but, you know, like I'm talking about, we have these times and dates available. But um, you can schedule the time that works best for you on this calendar. And if it's not convenient for you, don't worry. Just email us and we will work it out with you. Okay. Um, most, a lot of people that work in the field have mornings available or late night because you have uh, clients in between. But like I said, if you work in those hours and you want to work it out with us, we can make it work for you guys. And then we also take the form of payment that we have is we take PayPal and all major credit cards on the actual website. So once you choose your time and date, then you will make the payment and then we will automatically get the notification that you guys booked it. We will contact you through email um, and then figure out what it is you need um, so that the actual meetings or a tutoring session can be as individualized as possible. Okay, finally, we got to the data sheet. This is a data sheet that Yanis Bell Hernandez created. Um, it is amazing. It is a way for us to um, collect data on our test taking behavior and it's only $1.49. I think it's a total of, is it four pages, Yenny? Yes, about, it, it makes sure five pages, yeah. add, uh, yeah. add uh, up to 160, a space for 160 questions. But yeah. the data that you're gonna collect is very detailed to measure the different uh, test taking behaviors that you can encounter that. Right. You need to improve or decrease. Right, so you're gonna, um, it has all the instructions on the actual data sheet on how to do this. Um, and then, you know, you have access to it. it. You automatically download it once you purchase it. And then you can print it out as much as you can. It's yours. Every time you take a mock exam, you can print it out and print another one every time you take it. So it's, it's yours to keep. It's not like you use it one time and you lose it. No, it is yours. You can download it on, on your computer and print it out. And it's amazing, let me tell you, I've used it multiple times and it, it, does, it does find those patterns of behavior um, that you are um, doing during your mock exams that make you figure out why you're getting the questions wrong. So it does help. And it's, like I said, it's only $1.49, so you can't miss out on that deal. All right, finally, we will break down questions. As we talked about before, we use ABA, we, to study ABA, right? And we wanna make sure we ace that test. So we need to break down questions created by us to study ABA, and how do we do that? We make the questions, um, we teach them to you, we go over them, and we break them down. All right, Yanni, do you wanna take over this part since you're the one that created these questions? Sure. Usually what I do when we do whichever type of tutoring sessions we do, I always like to, to collect data on your test taking behavior. So what I do is I ask you to read it as if you were in the test. And as you read it and you answer it, then I collect that on how long you're taking to answer it. So uh, I would just say, okay, guy, uh, okay, uh, let's start reading it. And then I'm going to read it now <laughs> for the sake of time. So I'm collecting that on Ariel's punching others behavior while he does math work at school. The teacher reports that he usually punches the kid next to him three times during math class, but today he has done it five times. My supervisor is observing today. I collect data on this punching, on him punching a student four times instead of five. What could explain my change in data collecting behavior? Uh, so what would be the answer? Reactivity, observer reactivity, observer bias, or observer drift? What do you think, guys? 
I'm looking at the chat too. If you guys want to say it on the chat or if you want to say it out loud, go ahead. This one is tricky and I, I, I did it. Uh, and that's the way we write the questions because we want to, we want to push you out of your comfort zone and out of the, maybe what you encounter regularly. All right. Jamay said D. Does anyone else want to go for it? We usually like to take at least three people giving answers. So if any of you want to be brave enough, just give it your best guess. Martin, you're here. Go for it. <laughs> I'm just trying to read it now. Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, Martin. <laughs> Welcome, Martin. He's a graduate. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> He's been with us since the beginning. We need yeah. to create cap and gowns to be like, woohoo! <laughs> yes, I have been here from the beginning. That's right. I'm, I'm one of the oldies right here. Yeah, we're going to almost be a year since January yeah. of last year. Yeah. It's official. We passed. All right, we have one for observer drift, with it, which is D. Is anyone else? We're going to give it one more minute. Good. Is it B? All right, one for D, one for B. Ten seconds. Anyone else? Last one. Come on, guys, be brave. And by uh, while we are thinking about it, this is good when we're doing at the actual tutoring sessions because the tension of having somebody else observing you, it sort of mimics the tension of the test. That's Obviously, right. it's not the same, but it, it is completely different from you taking the test by yourself in your house. And that's why I like it. Um, I, I like to collect data while you're answering um, because it gives you that little extra tension that um, it could, uh, it's not the same as you taking the test in your house by yourself. That's right. No judgment zone, so you guys can participate. Everybody can participate. That's um, right. So that, <laughs> So, we are a family here, so yes. So you even I, I passed, answer. but I came here to participate and be with my with my friends here. That <laughs> they are supporting <laughs> me from the beginning. Thank you. Thank you, Mati. We appreciate right. it. Yanni, go for it. Tell me, uh, go to the next slide because I don't. <laughs> I keep well, moving. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so I think my thing got it right. It's B. And the, uh, the reason why it's B, it's uh, usually what I do when I'm doing the tutoring session is, Martin, do you want to help me out? So Martin, why do you pick B? So let's break it down. So usually what I do is highlight the key concepts uh, and then I, I want the person to explain it and break it down for us so you can uh, understand it better. So Martin, why do you pick observer reactivity? So the observer is being observed and he shows, obviously, if you literally translate it or, or define it, it's re, it shows a reactivity. So that's why it's an observer reactivity while the, he is being observed. So that's why it's an observer reactivity. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Exactly. Nice job. The term that might confuse you is reactivity and observer reactivity and the key thing to differentiate them is that it's the observer the therapist is the one that is being observed in reactivity the client that you're you're observing is the one that is being observed so if that helps but usually what we do is that and we go one by one and then we collect the data on how long you take and how many you get wrong and why so let's say that we got a run here uh, between reactivity and observer reactivity. I would mark it down as you need, we need to focus on the details of the information. 
Perfect. All right, we're gonna get go to the next one. This is the next one. Go for it. Uh, the, the behavior analysis is conducting a task analysis assessment. The task analysis has five steps in total. While doing the assessment, the client scores a plus in step one, a plus in step two, and a negative in step uh, three. Uh, then behavior analysis stops the assessment at step three. Which task analysis is she conducting? Is it A, forward chaining, B, multiple opportunity method, C, total task chaining, or D, simple opportunity method? If you want, you can just put your word, the, the answer in the chat and, and I, we won't call out your name, but we okay. do want something okay. so we can say it. So right. somebody right. said forward chaining, which is A, right? Then, All right. Go ahead. One person said forward chaining, yes. All right, two more guys. We're not gonna say your names. We're good. Just throw it out. First, thing, <laughs> first thing you think about. When I first started studying, I always said I'm gonna go with my gut, but then I started learning that I can't always go with my gut. But hey, go with your gut right now. It's okay. <laughs> so I'll give you a, a I'll give you a couple of tips. What is the question asking? Is the question about asking about a shame or is the question asking about a task analysis assessment? So that should throw you into the right direction. And that's why this question is so difficult because it focuses on detail of, of, of shame. And not a lot of people study, uh, um, put a lot of emphasis in this part. And that's why sometimes we get things wrong in the actual test because uh, it, it goes into the details. Demi, if you want, we already have a good one for uh, forward chaining. If you want, just let's go over the, uh, the actual answer. All right. All right there so the actual answer is single opportunity method. So that's what, uh, so if we were doing a tutoring session, I would just take advantage of the opportunity. I would just teach you what single opportunity method is and what uh, multiple opportunity method is. And as a matter of fact, it's simple. Since you already know Shaney, you don't have to get too complicated into it. Just remember the single opportunity method is that you have the child do, do each step. Once the child gets it wrong, that's it, you stop. That's why in step three, it's a negative. But in multiple opportunity, like the word says that you give the child multiple opportunities. Uh, and when he gets it wrong, you prompt it, then you continue to the, let the child do the number three, number four, number five, et cetera. But if we were in a true tutoring session, I would ask you, I would prompt you until you get, get to the right answer. Because I usually don't just lecture. You know, we don't lecture. Lady and Demi and me, one of our main goals is not to lecture. No. It's just to prompt you guys, basically use ABA, prompt you until, prompt your response until you arrive at the correct response. Yes. Right. We're going to give you clues until you figure it out. We're going to make you yeah. look at the question. We're going to break down the question for you. And then we're going to try to do process of elimination until you get the question right. Because uh, like I, we always say, we, we do what we would do with our clients. Right. So just prompt. All right. So that is the end of our meeting. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, thank you, Yanni, for attending. It was very helpful. And if you guys need any more help, feel free to email us at leaders at abaexamacademy.com. Um, you guys already know how to book our tutoring sessions. Just go to the website and follow the steps that I had on this um, video, on this uh, actual meeting. And then always remember to like, share, and subscribe to all of our social medias. That helps us out so we can grow and communicate and become a bigger and better family. <laughs> so thank you so much. If you guys have any questions, we can go over them now. Um, or if you guys are okay, then we can end our meeting. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye, Jamie. Bye.